Um, I'm recording now, so let's get this started. So just remind us, what rank were you? What rank did you get to, sorry? I was gold three. Gold three, okay, perfect. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna go through, just have some normal gunfight and kind of just test it out and just see what we're working with, okay? Oh, cool. So using an MCW right now or? Yeah, MCW. All right, perfect. So let's go through, obviously radar's on. I just wanna test your mechanics and see what we're working with. Okay. So I get you one shot, let's see how you escape this. So if you can watch the kill cam for me as well, that would be a good idea for you to just see how I'm playing and more importantly, how you look on my screen. I think it's really important because what you're going to yeah. see is, for example, right there, you try to escape. Let's just stop for a second. The first skill gap I noticed when playing golds and platinum, if you come towards me, please, is the movement, okay? Just the finesse and the flair. So for me, the perfect scenario is like right here. If you come back towards me, if I was to play Shotzi right now, I feel like he'll be able to finesse like that. He'll be able to get out of there, yeah. right? So that's, that's like the, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I thought you were trying to do. So that's gonna be like the, the pinnacle. That's gonna be the kind of goal we're trying to get to, right? So let's start off and think, okay, how do we break that down? So I get you trapped, you're right here. So if you stand exactly where I am, first uh -huh. things first is we wanna see the quickest way to retreat. So I actually don't mind you taking the approach and going right. The problem you have, right, is you have to expect when you're jumping through, I'm probably going to hit you with one or two shots. You think that's fair? Yeah. So you have to make sure that you're not one shot, basically. You have to make sure during this whole process, you're still, you know, you have some health to get away from. So what mm -hmm. you did was you actually stood up. You didn't really dolphin have or slide. It looks like you caught a dead slide and you were out in the open a little bit. And that's how I was able to kill you right there. Uh -huh. So let's try it again. This time, do you have hybrid on? So are you able to dolphin dive? Uh, check. I feel like my settings are different on, on a private match than it is my regular, you know what I mean? Oh really? It should be the same though. It should be the same. Okay. But yeah, you can have, have a look, no problem. It would be on the controller, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. I can't remember exactly where. I can have a look if you want. Gameplay, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm on hybrid. You're on hybrid, right? Perfect. So right there, in my opinion, is a really good example of just testing things out. So if we go back here, let's see. I want you to try to dolphin dive away here, and I want you to slide away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill you both times. I'm going to try to kill you anyways. If I kill you, watch the kill cam. And this is going to let you know, all right, what should I do in this scenario? Should I slide, should I dolphin dive, okay? Uh, so you want me to just stay behind cover and then try to die? So uh, if you can, let me just turn my volume down. Give me one second. It's really loud in my, in my Give me one second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot you. If you just peek your head for a second, I'm going to shoot you three times. Then I want you to go into cover and then try to get out, like how you did last time. Slide or dolphin dive. Let's see what happens. If you watch the kill cam, so again, I'll you can see the like same thing. I'm trying it's, to push it, and it's not going. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, for me, a mechanical skill gap, okay? Which is good. Uh -huh. This is what we want to see straight away. What we're noticing is, is a skill gap. Because in your head, right, you're trying to go through. When the pressure's on and someone's shooting you, I don't know whether it's just you're not used to it, whatever it is, there's multiple reasons, right? You're not able to kind of perform the the buttons that you need to press at that time, okay? So this yeah, is good yeah. for me, because that means you need to practice this specific mechanic. Now, when I spoke to someone on the past, they've said to me, oh, I don't know from dive. So that's it. I was like, okay, so this is, let me show you why you need to add it. It's a skill gap. If you can add the dolphin dive to your game, it adds a skill gap. If you can have five, six different skill gaps that you have over your enemies, that's what's gonna give you the leverage, okay? Yeah, I can get it now. So you can see right now you're getting because you're practicing, right? It's all about practice. Yeah. So. First thing you're going to realize is if you stand out and then slide, you're going to be out in the open and then slide. I'm going to be able to shoot you. So like you said, you have to kind of back away like you did there. You're going to have to back away and then yeah, maybe think right out and then slide like that. That's what I would probably do. I would dolphin dive sideways just to get out. So I would go through. I would I would kind of just dolphin dive away and make sure I'm inside here. Let's try it one more time, okay? I'm going to try shooting you as you go across and let's see if I can get you. Whenever you're ready, let's go again. Go, go for it. Go for the dolphin dive. So that was a lot better. So let's just stop for a second. So now, me personally, I think the best thing to do here probably isn't to go here. It's probably to go left. But just based on what you did at the start, that was such an improvement. Straight away, okay? So what you did yeah. at the start was you kind of just ran out of the open. But what you did now, I think, was a lot better. You you, you realized there was danger. You dolphin dived away. You got out and was able to reposition, okay? Mm-hmm. So just about thinking about what we can do differently. So let's keep going whenever you're ready. Let's have some more gunfights. Remember to watch the kill cam, please. Then we'll set up some drills. So first things first, I see you behind the lorry. Oh, interesting. So you're not looking at your minimap, it looks like, to me. 
Okay, so right there, if you watch the kill cam, what happened? I want you to tell me what happened at the start there, because it looked like to me you weren't really sure where I was. Is that right or no? No, I know. Uh, as far as setting up, I just figured that, that I'd get under some cover. Okay, because it because what happened is when you were standing here, you actually stood out here. So if you stand where I was, please. It will allow you to kind of see from both sides. If you stand where I was, whenever you're ready. Like you what it looked. Uh, I was just over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. So imagine standing there, right? This is where you were standing to start with. It looks like for you, it's a free kill. So for me, yeah. my first thing was like, if I look at the mini map, right? Because you started here. If I see the mini map and I see you're standing there, I'm not going to stand like this. Just try, just try shoot me once or twice. You see that? Like, oh shit! I'm out in the open, right? It's an easy kill for you. So the first thing I would have done if I was you was just trying to get into cover like this, which is what you did eventually, and then try to control the gunfight from here. Okay. Yeah. Now the next thing we're trying to do is with an AR from that distance. Okay, there's multiple ways of doing it. The f let's just let's just go back and shoot this gunfight. So stand where you are. The first thing I'm trying to do, okay, is I'm just trying to get a few shots off just trying to put some damage at you because what happens is if you over peak i can then shoot you with two shots so my first thing i'm trying to do right now is just put like shots at you so every time you peak shoot you once or twice so you peak shoot you once shoot you twice there you go and you can see now you're weak right so now if you over peak i'm gonna be able to kill you okay so you want to just be putting shots down so that's one thing you want to be putting pressure on the opponent putting shots down constantly what most people do is they think if they see someone, they have to kill them in that specific engagement. So if I peek left, I feel like people think they have to kill me while I'm here. But you don't need to do that. You can just put a few shots off, back away, reposition. Because when you go for that reposition, you're going to have the health advantage. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's try again. I want you to stand on any head glitch. I'll give you 20 seconds to set up, and I'm going to try to take you off. Anywhere, and I'll, I'll reposition. Or should I give you a good head glitch? Hey, come, come here, come here. I'll give you one, I'll give you one. Instead of you fighting one, I got you. <laughs> hey, you can stand here. You can stand here. Now, just for this example, let's not snake. Because wherever you learn now, if I can teach you to do it in the harder way, right? Where it's, it's harder for you to do. You can snake if you want. It will just make it easier. I'd rather teach you like this. Is that okay? Uh, so no snaking, just for this scenario. So that if you get used to it, if you do snake, it'll be even easier. So whenever you're ready, I'm going to try and kill you, okay? I want you to do the same thing. I want you to try and kill me. Ready? Uh, What's the kill count for me? We're going to perfect this, okay? We're going to do this five, ten times until you get it right. So, let's start off with... Now, I want you to tell me from my screen, how did that look? Just give me some yeah, give me some thoughts right the there. Open. You came out in the open. Where else? And well, that was the main thing, right? Let's yeah, start with one at a time. So, the main thing was, if I'm approaching that gunfight... Let's stand, stand on the head glitch for me, please, where I was. Oh, okay. You yeah, yeah, you sorry. If you go... Oh, no, no, I was just on here. I was just here. I was on this head glitch. Oh, that's right. So let's start with actually the first thing. So I was starting off here, actually. This is my starting position, okay? Now, my first thought was, right, if Breezy's on a head glitch, I'm going to do the same thing. So I dolphin dive the cross. As I dolphin dive the cross, I sent it to the right. I realized you were out in the open, so I shot you, okay? So you made it very simple for me. Now, I want you to just think about the gunfight. Stand at the head glitch. What's easier? This is gunfight number one, okay? Mm -hmm. Or gunfight number two? Yeah. What's easier for you? Number one. You think number one, so you think it's easier for you to be on that, like, that? that's easier for you right now? Yeah, straight from back and forth, not behind the head glitch. As in, sorry, from, no, no, so from where you are, from where you are right now. Oh, for me? Yeah, yeah, as in going up against me, what's harder, like this or this? Yeah. Like what? It's harder to obviously be behind the cover. Yeah, Eas okay. Easier would be to the left. So, so you, like you're saying now, it's very obvious. It's quite like, it's even a stupid question, right? You're like, okay. Yeah. But when you think about it, when you're playing, it's about making those decisions. So when you played, you didn't realize, but you got off the head glitch and stood here. So mm -hmm. I know that you understand, like, obviously, oh, a head glitch is a head glitch, right? But it's about when you're playing to really think what you're doing. Because I think what a lot of people do is they kind of just go into flow and kind of just play. They don't realize what they're doing. So like, there's a perfect example. I want you to think, right? If I'm on a head glitch and Alf's pushing me, I need to strafe this head glitch and center onto him. There's no reason for you to be standing like this, which is what you did. Okay? Uh -huh. So we got to correct that. So let's try again. This time, do what you need to do, okay? If you feel like standing out in the open wasn't the best play, let's try something different whenever you're ready. Let me know when you're ready, bro. Alright. Uh, ready? Yeah. Perfect. So, let's stop for a second. Let's stop. 
first thing first, a lot better, a lot harder to kill you because you want, you know, you were in cover. It was a lot harder to kill you. I could barely see your head. It's just very difficult. But I still got some shots off. So one thing you want to do on that scenario where you're on the head glitch is what you were kind of doing anyways, but you want to make sure you're strafing. There's two reasons, okay? One, when you're strafing, you activate your aim assist. So you want to be strafing left and right, okay? The other thing is when you're strafing, it makes it harder for me to hit you because I'm trying to shoot your head, but you're constantly moving left and right. It makes it a little bit harder. The next thing I think is really good is to do the snap aim. If you look at my kill camera, watch the kill cam for me. Can you see how I'm constantly aiming in and out? The reason why I think that's so beneficial, okay, is because it allows you to strafe a little bit faster. When you're doing the crack aim like that, what happens is you're not just strafing slowly. Because you're doing the crack aim, you're actually moving without ADS. And when you move without ADS, you're faster. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So I want you to try out, just try out, stand there. So I want you to keep doing the crack aim and strafing, okay? And then do it without, like, just by aiming in. And you're going to see it's a lot slower. So it's just good to have that in your locker. Right now, if you're on a head glitch and you're trying to wait for me, I would do this crack aim because I would be strafing a lot faster. And for me, it's just a lot better to do. Happy with that? Yeah. Perfect. Let's try it one more time. So first time I killed you. Second time, you know, we both went into cover. It was a good gunfight. Let's try it again. I'm going to mix some things up here and I want you to react to it, okay? Mm. Let's go whenever you're ready. Uh. So the difference there was I went for the ego chow. You didn't get any shots against me. So while you were shooting and missing, it gave me more confidence because I knew every time I hit you with a bullet, you were one bullet closer to dying, right? But you yeah. still had to hit me with five. So at that point, you have to just make sure you're hitting your shots. Now, after I've hit you two or three times, right? So I've hit you three times. You should know, okay, I'm weak right now. I have to hit off five times. He has to hit me twice. So straight away, I would kind of retreat and go into prone and just try to play my life for a second. Does that make sense? Because yeah. what you did is after three shots, instead of retreating, you actually jumped and made it even easier for me to shoot you. Yeah. Yeah? So right there, what do you think happened with your shot? What was stopping you from actually hitting me there? Because I was on a head glitch. Was it just your, your overall aim? Do you think it was because I was shooting you? What do you think it was from your POV? I think a little bit of both. <clears throat> okay. So what yeah, do you think you could do to correct it? So let's start with the basics. So right there, were you strafing? I think you were strafing, which is good. Yeah. Now your crosshair, where was your crosshair kind of placed? Like right above the, 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 the ledge of the head glitch. Okay. So when you were shooting, what did you realize? What was going on? Were you just like completely missing? What What, what, what do you think from yeah, your was, POV we could do to work I was, here? I was, work missing, on it? I was missing and then I was hurt. And then I yeah. went to... Uh, and then, yeah. So once you were hurt, it was kind of a bit too late. So yeah. we need to work on that initial shot. So one thing I would say is when you were shooting, were you kind of spraying or were you single tap firing? What were you doing there? I was just, yeah, so like uh, spraying kind of. Okay, let's try it again. This time, instead of like spraying, I want you to just shoot like two bullets at a time, two, three bullets at a time, and just really yeah. aim at me. Instead of just spraying and spraying, just start to actually aim at me and shoot like two, three bullets at a time, okay? All right. Let's try again. Like, you, let me know when you're full health, because I know I hit you a few times. I think I'm good now. Ready? All right, let's go again. Watch a kill come for me. What do you notice that you were doing wrong this time? And by the way, this is fine. This makes sense. When you're trying to do five, six things at once, it's going to make sense that you're going to like I forget to do one thing. Slow down a little more straight at the end. Exactly. You do. You stop moving, right? And what happened for me? It was an easy kill then because you weren't moving. It was an easy kill. So it's just about consistency. Keep on practicing while strafing how to shoot and stuff like that. Okay. Let's move on to a little, um, a different drill. Uh, whenever you're ready, let's just keep having gunfights and then we're about halfway through, we'll switch to a rival, okay? But right for now, let's just keep using the MCW. And yeah, let's just have some gunfights. So straight away, I'm in cover. I'm just gonna kind of go through my thought process and I want you to just watch the kill cam. So let's keep going. So right now I can see in the meme that you're at the top. You're now on my level. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna jump across. I see you wait there, I'm gonna pre-fire you. Watch that again, please. So I know exactly where you are. I'm covering the angles. You're not doing the wrong thing. You're just doing it a little bit too slow. So when you're peeking out, let's stop for one second. When you're peeking out, right, you're giving me an extra second. Like you're giving me an extra second to shoot you before you're shooting me. So right there, you see how you peeked out? I was already yeah. shooting you and you had to like aim at me. So one yeah. thing is we got to work on our centering and two, we got to work on our shouldering. So right there, you should shoulder. Shoulder to to see exactly where I am. Once you know where I am, 
go back into cover and think, right, how am I going to approach this? Maybe I go left. Maybe I have to do from a different angle. Just make okay. it a little bit harder for me. Because right now it's very easy for me, okay? Mm. All right, let's keep going whenever you're ready. So now you're in cover at the, on the head glitch. I'm going to go through. Let's see how I play this. Okay, so... Okay, so a few things there, okay? I want you to first... Like, what do you think about that gunfight? Let's let's talk about that. What, what do you think happened there? What do you think you could have done better? Um, just give me some thoughts there. Definitely. I, I, so I looked at it. I kill cam. I can see I exposed myself more at the end. Yeah? So, I think that wasn't probably the main thing I was thinking of. It was just more... Right there, I actually stood out in the open for a second, okay? And I wanted you to kill me. I wanted to see your aggression right there. So what you're trying to do is when you're in a gunfight like this, if you're in cover, right? Stand here for me, please. If you're in cover and you can see I'm out in the open, you need to use that and to your advantage. What you should have done is like just peeked me and just literally taken me off that. Like I was out in the open. I was standing right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now, even if you're crouching, you should say, right, I'm arms out in the open. I need to take this gunfight. You should stay into cover, center onto me, and then just like just gun me. Like I'm literally out in the open. But I feel like you just took too long. You didn't really shoot me and you let me like retreat. And then I was one shot, right? When I was one shot, I want to see you pre-firing this head glitch. You know I'm going to approach this. Just single tap fire. Just keep on peppering shots at me and just make me like work for it. Because gotcha. this is a really big thing, okay, Bre uh, Breezy? If I'm one shot, okay, what are you waiting for right there? Are you waiting for me to overcommit to something or what? Because you right there were kind of waiting for me and then shooting. You need to be shooting before I push you. Okay, yeah. so right there, for example, as I'm over peeking like this, you should be already shooting, like pre-firing the head glitch, because you know I'm going to push that area. Mm -hmm. Right, should we try again? Yeah. Okay, does that make sense though? Do you have any questions on that? No, that's good. <clears throat> okay, whenever you're ready, let's try again. Try and kill me. All right, let's stop. Same thing, exact same thing. You made me one shot. What happened there? I, I went for the peak and you didn't shoot me. You ran out of ammo? Okay. So, yeah. so now that's another thing. So now we can see the reason why I like the, the tap fire is because you conserve your ammo. At the same time, with 30 bullets, if you're running out of ammo, what does that tell you? That tells me you're missing a lot of shots. Yeah. So instead of just shooting and shooting, we need to be more accurate, okay? Really focusing on hitting our shots. Okay? Copy. Let's try again. Whenever you're ready, let's just have a normal gunfight. You can do what you need to do, okay? Move, move wherever you want. Let's go, let's go again. So right now I see you out in the open. I'm gonna jump across. Mini map awareness. Let's see how you get out of this one. This is maybe the first thing we did. Good. A lot better than last time. So you went into cover. Now let's see how you get out of this one. So I'm straight away gonna reposition. I'm like, let me kind of trap you in that corner. Now let's see how you get out. So I like how you reposition before I got there. That was good. Now, now let's see. I'm at the very top now. I've got a lot of high ground. So first things first is mini map awareness. Right there. First, I told you I was on the very top. Second, if you look on the mini map, you can see him on the top, right? The angle you took, it looked like you weren't even looking to the top there. Yeah, I know, I know kind of where you were, but I let's know stop you for were a second. Top. Okay, so again, for me, it's about shouldering and just looking at the mini map. So if I'm, if you go back to where you were, please. Now, if you look at the mini map, so go back to where you were and look at the mini map. Where else could I be so that we can kind of limit the options and just have a look? Now, right now, if you look at the mini map, what does it look like? I am. Looks like you're on top somewhere. So you, are you aware that when you um, yeah, have an arrow yeah, yeah. up top, can you see the arrow up top that shows I'm on top, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you know I'm either there where I'm now or I'm standing around here, okay? I could yeah, be here. That's what, that's what I originally thought you were. So that's okay, perfect. In that direction. So even if you thought I was there, right? Let's just, let's play it like, like this. If I was standing here, you need to be like, okay, I, I can't see R from where you're standing. You couldn't see me, okay? So at worst, you need to be standing somewhere where you can at least... In case I'm at top right now, you should be standing where you can, like, at least have a look there. You know what I mean? Like, for me, it looked like you were just standing here, but you didn't even acknowledge the top area. So just be a bit more careful there. Like, make sure you have everything covered. Do you want to get a rival out? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's get a rival out. Moving here. How did that not kill me? If you can kill me, please. How the hell did that not kill me? 
I don't, uh, I gotta make a rival class. I don't have it on. Oh, you haven't got a rival class? Okay, no worries. Do you, um, do you normally use a rival or no? No, I do, I do. I just don't have it in the front. Oh, okay, actually. okay. Go for it. Do you want to quickly make one? I'll tell you the attachments. Yeah. So, so yeah, what we're going to do now is let's get a sub out. Let's go through. And I want you to come towards me, okay? Now, for the next eight minutes, we're going to be working on this drill. I want you to stand on this head glitch for me. I'm going to try to kill you five times. I'm going to try to get aggressive and kill you five times, okay? I want you to use that head glitch as your starting spot. If you feel like you need to push me, you can push me. Whatever you want to do, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, ready? Yeah. Cool. Interesting. So you've... Okay. Right, let's, let's just play our weapon right there. So you started off on this head glitch. Mm. Once you got a few shots away on me, you ran away. You died. You don't don't find out the way. I then realized that in this gunfight, the head glitch was the best option. So I went back to the head glitch. Okay. So I went to your starting position, and I let you come towards me. Yeah. So for me, you gave away your best asset, which was the head glitch. If you're gonna give away the head glitch, I feel like the only time to do so is if you're gonna get aggressive and kill me. If you've made me weak, for example, and I'm one shot and I'm I'm hiding here. Then I would say yes, jump at me and kill me, right? But what yeah, you did I is mean, you kind of, you kind of dolphin out the way, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to go behind the cover, and then let's just see what happens. Now, once that happened, your next step was you just jumped out into the open again and tried to challenge me. Now I'm going to put this scenario in your head, right? If you were playing yourself, okay, Breezy. If you were playing yourself, you had a twin, exact same gun skill as you, right? And you were on this head glitch standing here, okay? Your twin jumped around the corner like this who do you think would win that gunfight me yeah because well which version you or your twin <laughs> you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now i would say they would have peekers advantage right which is obviously an advantage but the problem you have is they have to hit some really fucking good shots they have to hit clear headshots on you while you're in yeah. cover you could strafe this and just make it so much easier for yourself so this is what i mean by thinking out loud right what you did there was very very momentum based and it seems like you're kind of just running and just playing in the moment and this is a problem a lot of goals i have coach that i coach they know what to do when we slow the game down if you slow the game down and i was on this head glitch do you think you would have done that same push how you did it uh. Probably not, right? Because it's just an, an over-aggressive challenge. So the goal we have to do is to get you to slow the game down and think about your what you're doing before you do them. Don't just run and act. Just think a little bit and think, right, what is the best play here? What gives me the highest chance of success? It's not easy, but once you get a few reps in, you'll be easier, okay? Mm. Another thing is you got to remember, because I'm in crimson, right? My pacing is going to be naturally a little bit higher. So you might make the right decision in your gold lo uh, levels, levels. But what happens when you go up against diamonds and platinums and stuff like that, you're going to realize they make it a little bit quicker. And that's yeah. what we're going to work on, the pacing. So that was the first time. So now we've kind of gone through. Let's should we try again. Mm. Okay, whenever you're ready, let me know. So, what about that gunfight? What do you think about that one? What's the difference there for you? So now, from me, if you were going to give me feedback, right? What would you say was the problem there? What made that gunfight winnable for you? What did I do so that that way you could learn from it? You jumped out. So once I jumped out, I only had one option. I have to kill you. I can't physically get back into cover. So yeah. that right there was me over committing on purpose. I was like, right, I'm going to test this gunfight. If I win it, I would have said to you, right, I won it, but I probably shouldn't have. So I'm glad you won that to see you should have won that gunfight. Now I'm going to do the same thing. This time I'm going to play a little bit safer. I'm going to show you the key difference, okay? Uh, Whenever you're ready, let's go. Uh, now you're weak. Now I'll you. That was completely different. The second I shot you and I made you weak, I went back into cover. I then knew, right? Once I was in cover, I was like, okay, you're now weak. I've hit you three times. All I have to do is jump out. I have to hit you one time before you hit me five times. So as soon as I jump out, I was very confident I was going to get that kill. What do you think about that? Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, can you see the difference in that gunfight? It was night and day yeah. compared to the first one, right? So instead of just jumping out, then shooting you, I was like, cool, let me get the first shot off, and then I back away. Once you were weak, I then pushed you. And at that point, you're like, oh shit, I have nothing to do here. So yeah. was that a lot harder to deal with? Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's what I want you to add to your locker, okay? It's a slide cancel in, slide cancel, shoot, back away. 
back away as soon as possible. The reason we back away is because now we're controlling the gunfight and now we challenge. Let's try one more time and then you can try killing me, okay? Whenever you're ready. I want you to pay attention to the minimap for this one because I'm going to try something different, okay? Good shots, great shots. You made me one shot. I'm going to actually take my time and heal up here. So you didn't look at the minimap there. Yeah. Okay, that, that was a key. The minimap was a key there because if you saw the minimap, you would have realized I was standing on the ledge and it was just a matter of time. Come out for me, please. If you looked at the minimap, so stand on this ledge for me. Yeah, I can see that there are no. You can see, player. exactly, exactly. Now, what I want you to do is the same thing. I want you to jump up and try and kill me, how I did to you. Jump up and try and kill me. Watch a kill come for me. Look at the difference. Obviously, I know I told you to do it. That was a bit like, it wasn't like, oh, why did you do that? No, it was just look yeah. at the difference when you know where someone's going to be. You see yeah. how I, I saw you on the minimap? Imagine I didn't talk to you and I just saw you on the minimap, right? I would have jumped up top like that and I would have pre-aimed that. If you do that to me, you would have killed me. Exact same thing. I w I'm not going to tell you when. I want you to stand here. I'm just going to push you. I'm not going to tell you what way I'm going to push you. I want you to look at the minimap and read the pressure, okay? Yeah. Whenever you're ready, let's go. Now, the gunfight after was a separate issue. We can talk about that. But the actual positioning was a lot better from you. You were a lot more ready for that. Now, let's talk about that gunfight. So, as I jumped up, what do you think you happened jumped, there? You jumped to your left, and I wasn't expecting Oh, okay. So, I was a little bit different to where your centering was, right? Yeah. So, one thing we could do to kind of correct that is you're not going to be able to have... Oh, okay. So, again, that was just... I didn't realize I did that to kind of throw you off. But that was a good movement for me. So as soon as I jumped up, I shot and I jumped away to reposition. Exact same thing. Why I did it was the problem you had. It was just to get out of that scenario, kind of reposition, okay? Yeah. Right, let's go again, and then I want you to kill me. What, uh, ready? Uh. Watch kill come for me, please. Same thing. Uh. I, oh, you're good, you're good. So I jumped around the corner, and I sent it on to you. As I shot you, it's very important. As I shot you there, I actually jumped away. By the way, your host is actually not bad for me. I forgot that you're you're in America. Are you America, right? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I want 80 ping. You might have the best internet I've ever seen, bro. Because like yeah. anyone I'm pinging in America, I'm on 100 plus. Like, this actually feels really good. I forgot I'm playing with an American I host got, right now. I got I got uh, five bros. One one gig. Oh shit! This is like a little advert. Yo, sponsor me, sponsor me. <laughs> Yo, this is some fire internet, bro. <laughs> no way, bro. They better collab with me after this. Anyways, yeah, I mean, look at So, I want you to stand there for me now. I'm going to be on the head glitch. You have one minute to see how many times you can kill me whenever you're ready. Uh, Remember, watch kill cam. Shit. A little magic trick, all good. Okay, same thing. It's just the speed. The efficiency and speed that we're working with, we need to up it a level. We need to be way, way faster. Right. Let's try again. But well, you got 50 seconds to, to win this gunfight against me. Right. What I want you to do, instead of just like, what you're doing now, it looks like you're shouldering out like this. You're kind of just walking left and right like this. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. The problem you have is it's always going to be too slow when I know you're there. In a game, if you're just trying to test something like that, that's fine. But if you're trying to get some shots off, try this. Try slide cancelling. Like so just, just try slide cancelling, shooting me and jumping away. Try that. Try it now. Pretend I'm there. Just try it. Shoot and then jump away. So again, you see you're not doing the jump, okay? It's very important to do all of it. There you go. So like, side cancel and then jump backwards. You want to jump backwards. Try again. That's a lot better. Try shooting me. A lot better. But you're missing your shot, so it's just centering. So what we just... That very end right there. If you can work through that, if you can perfect that, because obviously you're not done... <laughs> Because <laughs> you've not done it, right? It's obviously going to be a lot of tuning. But if you can perfect that, if you can slide cancel around the corner, shoot me and back away, I promise you it's going to really help you challenge gunfights. 